Gophers coaches back on the road with the University of Minnesota coaches caravan. Uh, this is after a two year hiatus. Sports director Jim Rich joins us live. He's out at the Landscape Arboretum in Chaska now with a very special guest. Jim. Yeah, thanks very much, Amy. We are here with a very special guest, and this is one of your first times, I think, on the Gopher Caravan. As they mentioned, it's been wiped out the last couple of years due to the pandemic, but Ben Johnson, men's basketball coach, joins us. And when you get in there and you speak in front of a crowd, what is your message to this group? What do you want them to walk out of here with? Well, first off, um, you know, we want to thank them for their support. Um, you know, with, without a great fan base and people that are excited about your program and what you're trying to do, it makes our job a lot harder. So we love that they're out here, love that we get to talk about, you know, gopher basketball and about the University of Minnesota and just let them know that, um, you know, we're headed in the right direction. And, um, you know, we learned a lot from this past year. Uh, we got a lot of guys that are coming back that are going to grow uh, and have a big time summer. And we're really excited for, for what's to come. So what was year one like for you? You know, you've always been an assistant. You've always been had somebody to lean on or feed the messages to. You had to make that final call. How different was that for you? It's different. Um, <laughs> you know, it's different. Th you know, thankfully, I have a really good staff and, and I have players that were really uh, bought in from day one. So it made it made my experience that you, that first year uh, really enjoyable. Um, and we had we had players that were eager to get better and eager to learn and were fun to coach. And so uh, my transition was relatively smooth from that standpoint. Um, thought the guys did a really good job competing for the most part. And uh, again, we're just we want to build on everything we did positively in year one and, and see what we can do in year two. Well, the transfer portal obviously has been a huge aid for you, and Jamison Battle came through that. And I think that's what you were looking for, is to give a kid that's from here an opportunity that may not have been ready as a freshman for the Big Ten. I mean, it was remarkable what he put together. Is that kind of the player you're looking for when you jump into that portal? Yeah, I, you know, Jamison did an unbelievable job. Um, you know, you look at traditionally the the numbers right when a kid makes a jump from a quote unquote mid-level to a higher level uh, very rarely do they translate and Jamison's did you know what he did at George Washington was the same thing production wise that he did for us so it was a huge benefit and a huge lift and um, you know he's had a great off season I know he's looking to continue to to grow his game and develop his game um, and expect big things from him this year all right now you're going to share the stage with PJ Fleck uh, do you think you get a word in wedgewise I'll let him take it. Let him do his deal. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. <laughs> All right, that's Ben Johnson, men's basketball coach. Year one, a success, and he's looking for more. So that's the story from here. We'll let him get in there and meet with the fans. Yeah. All right, Jimmy. Good plan. Thanks, and every, Ben. Every coach looking for more wins, right? Absolutely.